Hello again. Today we're actually going to do a quick video on how to repair the wheels if they get scratched. This will be for matte black wheels and you can pretty much use any color. You just have to make sure to get the right paint. There are a few materials you need. The most important is going to be the wheel paint. Um, just make sure it matches the color wheels that you're using. I'm using this paint and this is from Amazon. This sanding detailer set is what's going to set this repair apart from most other videos. And you also need some isopropyl alcohol for cleaning. First step is to take the alcohol and clean off the wheel. This will remove any grease that might have accumulated, which will get in the way. The trick with this is that we're going to use some curved sanding detailers. And this will let you get the sharp points down to a nice smooth edge for the paint without having to kind of bend any sandpaper into little squares or accidentally scuff the wheel next to it. You can see here that the different colors are different grit of sandpaper. So we'll start with the blue 240 grit. And then once we get the high edges down, we'll go to the yellow 400 grit to finish it off. So pull out the blue detailer and use your finger as a guide and start sanding away any uh, rough patches to get a nice smooth area of metal. Other ways you'll have to use tape, but if you're using this, you really don't have to use tape. You just can use your index finger to block off the uh, adjacent wheel. But take your time. Don't go too crazy because, you know, if it slips and you accidentally scratch against the wheel, now you're stuck with extra area for repair. Now you can switch to the yellow one once it's all smooth and do a final pass with the yellow sander to leave a even smoother surface. Take a moment to wipe this down with alcohol to remove any dust and then let it dry and then you can switch to the paint. Now be very slow and meticulous. The first layer of this is not going to be the final layer. You just need to get a little bit of a base coat down and as long as it stays within the lines you should be good but just be careful not to drip any out of, the, out of place but if, even if you do while it's wet you can always wipe it up as you see there now once it dries you'll need to do a second layer followed by a third layer but again go very slowly and brace your finger with your other hand and the second, the second coat can be a little thicker than the first one. And just make sure you're getting in any exposed metal. Make sure it's all getting covered. Third coat is going to be the same thing. Uh, the, the idea with this one is to just make sure that the paint is smooth. And so you can use a little bit more paint than before as long as it's not dripping. And just make sure the layer is smooth. And obviously everything that needs to be covered is covered. But after three layers, you should pretty much be done. This is with the paint still a little bit wet, but out of direct lighting, you can kind of tell there's a repair at 12 o'clock and then at 9 o'clock, these little lines. I came back later to film the dried result, and it's much harder to tell. This is the smaller repair. If you zoom in, you can see it, but it is more matte once it dries. And then the lateral repair is also a lot more matte but from about four feet you really can't tell anything was done and it looks way better than just silver metal silver metal just stands out but yeah that's it feel free to like and subscribe for more jaguar also range rover repair videos and i will see you next time